Hey, Good you guys. Good morning. Okay, we are here. Welcome to the week. Surprise, we're here. We are here. You have arrived. Oh, you gotta breathe. Alright guys, it is Monday. Happy oh wait, no, it's Tuesday when they see it us. It is Tuesday. Yesterday was Monday's video. Today it's confusing, right? So you guys know that we are going to be on kind of an odd week this week. We have a ton of a ton of medical stuff coming up happening currently as you watch this. We are going to be filming throughout this week, uh, but the videos that go up this week are going to be pre-recorded videos, and what we're filming this week will be coming probably next week or, or a later date as we have time to go through the footage and put it together for you guys. Yeah. So I know in response to yesterday's video, I'm sure that we all have about a million questions. We will be processing and hopefully answering some of those questions as we're able in the coming days and weeks but for now we'll put a pause on the big conversations of life and enter into some different kinds of questions yeah you guys sent us questions and we're going to answer them here's the first one hi mary peter and ollie of course i just wanted to send in a question and ask if you had any everyday items that you use for medical stuff that most people do not um, that you guys only see as a medical item now. Um, for me, it's the butter container in the fridge because it doesn't get used for butter. It's just used for my shots and stuff like that for medical reasons. So I was wondering if you had anything like that and that it could also be helpful to other people to um, maybe give them ideas uh, for themselves. First off, Shout out to the Fry Life shirt you're wearing. Yeah, that looks like, uh, was that a vintage Fry Life bear shirt? I think it might have been. But Speaking great question. Of Fry Life shirt, I'm wearing mine today. Rocking the Have Courage shirt, which we need this week. Yes. But, um, okay, so I think that's a really good question. Very interesting question. We had to think about this one. And then I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this question the way that Janae asked it and then vice versa it as well. So, the items that we use that are not intended to be medical, but we use as medical, Peter came up with, I think, the best example. Red Solo Cups. Red Solo Cups. Forever Red Solo Cups will not be a party cup. It will be a mucus cup. <laughs> I don't remember how I discovered this, but the you know all throughout my life the doctors my parents everybody's like mary when you cough up that mucus get it out spit it out use a tissue use a ziploc bag Ugh. use whatever spit it out and it always just grossed me out so bad i would just swallow it and move on it was just it was the only way i could just function i was just like it's so disgusting to me well when i was like 25 AKA like four was, years ago. Was it four years ago? I think I think maybe. Yeah, I think around that. Wow, yeah. I've used a lot of red solo cups in my life. I found these teeny tiny red solo cups at the Dollar Tree. I do not for the life of me remember how this went down, but apparently I saw them at the dollar store, I brought them home, and I used them. I think I remember. I think I remember Mary saying, <gasps> if I'm going to spit out my mucus, I want it to be in that. <laughs> <laughs> so I think the key was it's not see-through, like a medicine cup at the hospital is see-through. It's not see-through. Oh, well, I remember in Scotland, the chest PT people yeah. would come in and they had these little white, they call them pots, yeah. a little white cup. Those had a lid on. That was perfect. I think that inspired you. They were amazing. They were like... The PTs there would like hold it and while while I was coughing they'd like support me and then they'd like hand it to me and I'm like, you're so sweet. So anyway, Red Solo Cups, the little teeny tiny ones, although I've recently transitioned away from Red Solo Cups and I've been using these paper bathroom cups that are like Mickey Mouse, also from the Dollar Tree. Anyway, little tiny cups that are intended for other purposes, those we okay. use for medical. Yeah. Second, the vest cart. Yeah. 
that uh, which I know is kind of a thing. People know it as the CF vest cart. Yeah. It's an IKEA metal three-tiered cart. Yep. You've probably On seen wheels. it in our videos. Uh, Mine's like a teal. Currently, Mary hasn't been using it, but she goes through seasons of like having her vest on there and then she can ever miss stuff and the different. I'm currently using it just for medicines. Yeah. But um, another one that I remembered was, you know those organizers that you, that are intended for the kitchen that you screw onto the back of your pantry door oh, yeah. for cans of soup? I use that for my IVIG supplies, which so has been the, super helpful. On the back of the closet door upstairs. Uh, it's super helpful. It's like soup. Line, it soup. Because it's, it's soup. intended for soup. Good one. Anyways, <laughs> that that is a good use. I thought of another thing when we were leaving for this trip. Mary said, "Hey, could you grab my feeding tube cup?" Oh and I was yeah. Was like feeding tube cup, and my mind had to like. I don't think that one has cemented in my mind yet what that is, but it's like this little plastic. It's from the Dollar Tree. It's like a little plastic, what's it for? It's for craft, it's in the craft aisle. It comes in like a six pack, little tiny clear cup with a little white lid, sort of. And she uses it to measure out the water for flushing her feeding tube, and she has like a little Sharpie mark on it, and she just keeps it on the bathroom sink. And uh, that's her feeding tube cup. That was a good one. Yeah. Okay, so you want to flip the question over. Okay, so what are medical items that are intended for medical purposes, but you use them for everyday use? Yes. Okay, so 60 cc syringes are awesome for pool toys. Yeah, water gun, squirt mm -hmm. gun. <laughs> now, I remember taking these to the beach. Really? Didn't you and I, was it when Tamara and Corey were here? Oh, maybe, I don't I don't know, that. oh wait, okay wait, hold on. I also rewind another 10 years before that. Okay. In high school, I was on IVs, uh -huh. on a trip with our youth group, and after I was done with a syringe, I'm pretty certain I gave it to a friend and then they used it in the ocean. Nice. I think that's how it happened. Okay. Um, but yeah, they're great for water guns and pool toy, bath toy. I've given yeah. them to friends, kids, which they're like, probably like, why are you giving my child a syringe? No needle involved, just the syringe. Great uh, water gun. There's nebulizer tu tubing has plenty of uses. Did you see me type this one down? No, I didn't know you <laughs> made any notes for this. Okay. What, what so, was your use for nebulizer tubing? Growing up, so my sister and I would sometimes play dentist. Oh. And one person would sit on the toilet and lean back like it was the, well, like sit like on the, it with the lid down. Yeah, like. Like the, it's a chair. The dentist chair. And the other person would have the nebulizer tubing like it's the Mr. S uh, what is it? Like the Mr. The suction. The suction thing. They called it like a Mr. Sucky or something at our dentist. <laughs> Creepy. But anyway, the nebulizer tubing was intended to be that. Okay. And then, oh my gosh. What? Did you guys have like these metal picks in your like utensil drawer for crabs or nuts? Like a uh, nut yeah. pick. Yeah, what, what are those? Well, I'll tell you what it is. Oh, it's the dentist poker. Yes. That is a great use of it. Okay, that. so but anyway. That was weird. The <laughs> nebulizer tubing is obviously a dentistry item when you're a child. We've used it for other things, like siphoning out water out of our uh, washing machine that stopped working, or a super long straw. <laughs> oh my gosh! You know, nebulizer tubing. When it when it when you're done with it, you might want to keep it around. It could have a lot of uses. I even gave it to a friend. She cut a piece of the nebulizer tubing off, and used it as a ring stabilizer they sell these things for like five bucks or you can just ask your cf friend can i have your nebulizer tubing when you're done and you just cut a little teeny tiny piece and put it on your ring if your ring is too big it seems like it would be really thick well i guess that's a really big ring but it you know. works um lastly for my succulents i use a syringe filled with water to 
water them. You guys have seen that here on the Fry Life. It's a, it's a good life hack, medical hack. Leave it in the comments. Any other medical, either either medical way. Medical for ordinary use or ordinary use for medical use. I cannot wait to read those. And as always, as always, we, we will, will see, see you tomorrow. tomorrow. Good, good night. night. Good night to the Hollywood.